What is happening people? We welcome you to the Regano Art Family. It is time for evolution. And so in today's video we're in uh, Pinterest.com. You know. So Pinterest.com, I wanted to just speak about it. About how how valuable Pinterest.com can be for artists or if you're looking for any kind of any kind of inspiration, creative juice, if you want to implement something into your creative library. This is like a uh, this is like a, a Google for artists, so to say. So, if you were to type anything in there, that was uh, in particular for like uh, for art, I definitely you know recommend recommend uh, Pinterest because it has it, it houses a whole bunch of uh, great uh, great art, great references, great things for your for your uh, you know for uh, for whatever you want to. For example, if you want to do uh, if you wanted to like do armor, I'm pretty sure this is a fantasy art for for uh, an armor illustration. But I'm sure you can like type in armor, and you will find some tutorials on armor. And also, if you wanted to do something related to fantasy, you can look up other people's works when it when it comes to fantasy, you know, and get inspiration to see how they build it. Get inspiration to see how certain things work for them. You know, and then you can abstract it, change things up a little bit, make a combination of different things that you that you've seen in regards to fantasy. So perhaps you can combine a photo like this with something something like this and something like this maybe. You know, it really depends. And you, know, you can take a little bit of that and you know just just combine combine uh, certain things. If you, if you ever if you're ever looking for any kind of creative inspiration, you know, and also if you're looking for, for example, if you're doing a factory, oh, and, and th this is also a good one. This is like actually a good one. I think this is an underwater scene. So if you want to get inspiration, you can even save this into your, uh, into your, uh, your, uh, your folders. So you can make folders and save it so that you can come back to, to your inspiration folders or something. So you can save this. And so let's say that you wanted to find some kind of some artwork for for a factory. So let's say you're doing factory art, you know, or let's say you're doing mech art, you know. Let's type in factory, you know. So we'll have some factories here. Uh, we can see like visual, we can see like visual realistic factories to see how these work. And at the same time, not only do they provide something that's realistic, they also provide, you know, a fa fantasy fantasy factory illustrations etc so you can type in uh, this this is not exactly what I'm looking for so we'll type in uh, factory drawings maybe oh fact maybe factory concept arts yeah factory concept art Yeah, so we have factory concept art, and if you wanted to like get some inspiration from like, you know, factory concept art, you can look at something like this. You can see how this is built. You know, just just look around, save save images, just to build your your creative, your creative, uh, your creative library. You know, so these are this is really this is a really cool uh, factor. I, th I believe this is like a, a train station. You know, a steampunk tra train station. So you can get like inspiration from uh, from various different things. You know, uh, so you can look up anything. You can look up samurais or just just anything that your mind can possibly think of. Uh, Pinterest is there, and you can definitely get some inspiration from these uh, artworks. So I, I like to I like to use uh, I like to use uh, Pinterest for a lot of. Uh, for a lot of uh, things, especially especially references, and especially for like uh, for inspiration for different uh, you know concept art. So even even this is mech. So if you're interested in mech, you can even look at look into this. Um, I also recommend a Sketchfab, which is like a 3D uh, a 3D software. It's like a 3D modeling version of of this. But one thing is that they don't really have as much of uh they don't really have as much uh 
as much of uh, what, what's the word a, a, a wide dictionary of things for you to look into it's very it feels very limited you know hey what's going on guys this is Marcus from the future we're in the 3d website sketchfab so I'm just gonna show you just a, a quick look around of what you can have you know the, the dictionary is very is very limited but it's still useful because of the fact that we have 3d models so if you if, if you type in butterfly you'll find uh, various different uh, different things regarding butterfly so if you wanted to have some kind of reference to to drawing butterflies or if you wanted to a specific angle if you were drawing a comic if you're not used to or if you're not used to studying butterflies or drawing them you can come to you can come to sketchfab and you can see like all the different angles all the different shots you can take you know and some of them are very animated so again you can like pause the video as well so it come sketchfab it has a whole list of a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of things you can look at although the, the dictionary is limited so it may not it, you may not have like clown shoes so if you type in if you type in clown shoes uh, some things may not come up um, there's this there's this but again it doesn't it doesn't like show a wide variety of wide variety of clown shoes for you to pick from if you want a specific design of, of or if you want like to choose from more than one design or so as a reference but but sketchfab is great uh, that's also a site you should look into I also have an account there where I save a whole bunch of stuff so that will also be in the link down below and so uh, back to the Pinterest video Pinterest but yeah there's uh, there's mech and if you wanted to find some if you wanted to find some drawing tutorials for arms drawing yeah drawing tutorial for arms I just just type it in and it, it feels so much more uh, it'll be so you it'll provide you with so much uh, detail of different amazing uh, references that you can that you can look at you know so I use this a lot for for references whenever I want to go back you know what if I do forget some things I sometimes come back here and then I uh, reference this so I, I have a whole list of folders on my account that shows you the list of references if you want to look into the references that I've saved up from just scrolling on on Pinterest uh, you can check out the the link in the description or maybe it's going to be in the comments you know so you can see some concept arts that I saved up for like future comics for for you know just for inspiration uh, and these are the these are all of the these are all of the the references that I have you know so we have references for races uh, hair, hair hair yeah hair art and uh, uh, light and shadow tips there's hands lower body tips uh, there's character designs for inspirations there's inspiring manga pages so I have a whole list of uh, for example we'll come what's a good one we'll just come here body body muscle tips and it pretty much I pretty much like saved different references that can really help with drawing the the human body depending on the, the character's age or the character's uh, muscular uh, structure you know I you know this is what it's uh, saved for you know I saved it for that uh, particular particular topic in, within that folder so I have so I have uh, references for muscles and I have references for for feet for for, for hands for for shoulders you know you can you can check it out but this is this is this this does really great see eyebrows and, and, and eyebrow and brow tips but yeah this does really great and also this face uh, face expressions you want to look at that but yeah this 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 uh this is amazing for 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 references you know and I had it'll be in a, it'll be in a description down below but you can even find even more references on Pinterest I find it much more useful to find uh, art 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 tutorials or art you know visual art tutorials or lessons on Pinterest compared to compared to Google you know 
I'm sure Google will lead you to like YouTube videos and such, but if you if you want something that's like uh, you know in terms of uh, flat paper or like just straight up, it tells you what 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 it's about. Then you can go. You can go to. You can go to Pinterest. You know. So there's here's some like inspiring, uh, inspiring illustrations. You know, because I really like the foreshortening of, of this person's artwork, and like the and the perspective. I also like the way this artist used his used the the ink to have this 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 effect on. It, it, yeah, it has this effect going on, and it just looks it just looks amazing, and and, and it gives me uh, certain ideas for like future future characters. And so there's a section of references references within my folder, the art tips, and so you can see here this this goes well. It pretty much shows you like the triangle and and, it, and its connection with like the the delta muscle up here, and it, with its connection with the thumb or or the, the hand you know so that you can like you know intuitively or internally uh, visualize the correct proportions by by understanding this triangle this invisible triangle you know so this is these these do great for uh, for for uh, the references and so right here is a, is another you know amazing reference right here we see a cat sticking out its tongue right and so as we place this cat sticking out of the stone, you can see how it relates to this this guy's uh, the abs here. And this could be this is these are like really creative ways for you to to memorize. So you can memorize things. It's great. It's it, it's it, it's easy to memorize things when it's like a funny image, you know. So you can see how this this is like uh overlacing the abs, so you can like kind of remember these are the ab placements, etc. So you can find so much so much creative things on on Pinterest I, I think I saw something that I, that I wanted to save here see so yeah, I'm saving this but yeah you can find you can find so much uh, let, let's go back to to the art tips and also uh, perspective uh, I remember this was actually what what really what really you know made me go on a uh, on a, a tutorial spree when I discovered this this person's artwork you know so I understood I understood perspective you know I understood drawing backgrounds but this was like a, a new way of drawing backgrounds that I never like really like constantly thought about for example the, the 90 degrees never really never really crossed my mind although I was doing doing that the 90 degrees didn't really cross my mind I, I was doing it like intuitively so to say and this this slanted uh, this slanted horizon line was something I was also not that conscious about, you know. But me just seeing it, you know, I can I could like easily understand what was going on, and seeing the slanted line just like made me want to like say, okay, this this is really dynamic, you know. I could implement this 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 slanted horizon line within my own artwork. You know, so this made me go on a tutorial suite to look up uh, several different tutorials that I've found here. So these are this is a great reference site. So you know, it's great to take advantage of it. You know, and so that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. I do hope this video has helped you gain some more uh, knowledge on you know new new sources you may have you may not have been 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 aware of. You know. So if you, if you have any any questions or any uh, any videos that you want me to do, feel free to leave so in the comments down below. So that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching, and this is a really cool reference. If you, yeah, really cool that reference. Ch check out check out the the check out my Pinterest. It'll be down below in the, in the description, etc. Or comments. So peace.